Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Planet Zoo franchise let's play. It's basically just going to be a nice long episode, well episodes of Planet Zoo franchise. So in every one of these episodes there's going to be at least one time lapse, hopefully. If I do carry on the series, which I'm hopefully going to, then there will be at least one time that's in every video. So let's just get started. And we're going to create a new zoo. I don't know why. I have a couple of conservation credits. I've probably made zoos before on this franchise. But I'm thinking. I want to know where I should put this zoo. So do I go for... Africa I don't think Africa because it's not the most I want somewhere urban I feel like it might be nice to have one in England so I think just if I go England even though it's mainly just Europe I go medium difficulty terrain type flat name zoo I am not even kidding it took me about five fucking hours to come up with a name for this zoo so I'm just gonna skip past that all right so I think Bristol King Zoo's probably a a good name i don't know if i can change it later if i can't then i'll just deal with it but i think that's a good place to start off bristol's a pretty big place in england so that should be a nice place to to start off our little zoo franchise Right, so we've loaded in, we've got this, this kind of starting build with the magical teleporters, as per usual. I don't think I can change the path type for the moment inside that, I don't think I actually can at all. I've got the staff needs, we need all of them. But if I think about, so I've got to think about what I want first as a first animal can't even go in and right if i look in the zoopedia i don't want something like really difficult but i think what i'm going to do is if i just zoom out here if i i don't know where the border is oh the border's actually oh that's actually a pretty big lump of land right so i'll throw up a picture on the screen of what i'm gonna have this zoo based off i am literally not gonna throw up a picture i'll just voice over this next bit so where the red circle is now basically that is going to be the where europe is that's literally all i needed to to say right so my audio recording actually cut out for the rest of the video well, not towards the end, it kind of just comes back in. I, I really have no idea what happened and it's quite annoying. But I'm basically just going to time lapse the rest of the video. So basically what I'm doing right now is literally just looking through every single one of the animals that I can have. I eventually just decide to keep Europe as the, the, only, the, the only place to have my animals i have no idea what i'm doing right now it's, it's quite weird but i'm literally just looking through and deciding what animal and i eventually do decide on building the red deer so that's quite good because the red deer is actually a pretty good thing to start off with they live for a while and they are quite cool as well i mean if i went to a zoo i'd it would be quite cool to see a red deer of the fact that I've literally they live in like they literally live exactly where i live so it's quite i mean i could call it quite boring but it's not exactly quite boring but all right so kind of ignoring my little ramble going on there of deers basically what i'm doing is i'm building the toilet blocks as because there's like 
if you go into a zoo, I don't know, the only zoos that I've been into, when as soon as you walk in them, it kind of, there's like a little plaza area kind of thing at the front of the zoo. Well, like as soon as you walk in, there's like a nice little plaza looking. I'd say plaza, but it's probably not really a plaza. It's just like a, a like a space of like path with toilets, shops, a gift shop, normal normal shops like food shops, like drink shops and things like that. And then eventually, I mean, I just do some look at some stuff on the red deer, which is the first animal as i previously said so what i'm doing is i'm just building the staff path down for staff obviously and then kind of connecting up i'm just doing some editing on the barrier the thing is i think eventually i actually just completely get rid of that barrier and sink it into the ground which is amazing it's it's not really amazing but yeah i've put a keeper hut down and i'm kind of gonna work so i'm gonna have like work zones set up so that basically so in every continent in the world that i have in the zoo so like europe asia africa things like that they all have a specific work zone so the British, the, well, it's not British, it's, it's the European. They have the European one, which is the Europe and entrance. And that's what those, all of these things are going to be grouped into eventually. And yeah, I do, I sink this into the ground. And I also put like a, a little kind of pond thing. I have no idea. It's kind of just like a little lake. Cause it, it's, quite, it's quite good. I... I think the main reason why I usually put ponds in is so that the animals have something to drink. But then I end up putting a a drink uh, like a, a drink station or a water station in, which thinking about it is probably quite stupid because I shouldn't. But I mean, if you're not gonna treat your water, then you probably want to because otherwise you'll animals gonna get diseased but basically what i'm doing is i'm just putting plants down and making it look a little more lively i think the best way to make a habitat look better is by putting a bunch of plants in like depending on what animal they are if they're a grassland animal or a desert animal don't like overload it with plants but do put some in i mean the desert you probably need less because there's probably not gonna be any actual plants like trees or anything in a desert probably just cacti ah. so we're getting the deers in now so what i might do is slow it down a bit so you can see the deers in so we got two female deers and eventually i think towards the end we get a male but it's quite quite nice and what i'm doing right now is just putting the hard shelter in because they need some shelter i was like i was con i was like what, what's the word um contemplating putting two small ones down i i just could not find the word then um i was contemplating put putting two small hard shelters down but i decided not to in the end just putting their enrichment in at the moment i think yeah so this is the point where we where we get the the new male deer Yeah, I think that last bit was a bit delayed because I slowed it down. But yeah, we're putting the enrichment in now, basically. And we're just going to get the male deer in a second. And with that, guys, I think I'm going to end it for this time lapse. Yeah, right there. Comment what I should call all three of them. I'll choose the top like comment on the next video. If there aren't any comments, then I'll probably just deal with it name them myself also give me your name suggestions on the whole enclosure as well and with that i will see you in the next video